This next episode of Overlooked History is about the submarine of Cornelis Drebbel. Cornelis Drebbel was born in Almar, the Netherlands, in 1572. He originally worked as an engraver and glass worker before moving to England in 1604 to pursue a scientific career. In England, King James I became his patron. With his support, Drebbel originally invented a perpetual motion clock, which was exhibited in Prague. He also invented an early microscope and a rudimentary thermostat. At the time, some had already experimented with submarine designs, but none had been built. The first known design for a submarine dates back to William Boyne in 1578. As part of Drebbel's work for the king, he designed a submarine for the Royal Navy in 1620. It was based around a small rowboat, was covered with a weather hood, and had a hatch in the middle. It was powered by four oars and was kept buoyant by pigskin bladders. The sub was described as being rather successful. Drebbel built two more larger submarines, and the largest had a capacity of 16 people. It could go about 12 to 15 feet underwater and travel down the Thames through London. Many questions remain about his designs, including how the air was supplied. According to legend, King James I rode in the submarine, though it could just be a rumor. Even despite these encouraging results, the Royal Navy decided not to proceed any further with the project. Drebbel went on to become an alchemist and European fireworks pioneer. He passed away on November 7, 1633. Drebbel's submarine was successfully recreated in 2001 by the BBC. It could stay submerged, but not as long as Drebbel had claimed. Thank you.